Right now at 5.30, we're hearing from the survivor of the FIU bridge collapse who's now suing over the tragedy. Richard Humble survived that catastrophic collapse, but sadly, his girlfriend, Alessa Duran, who was driving, did not. His lawsuit targets the contractors who were working on the failed bridge. Local 10's Carlos Suarez is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with more. Carlos. Twice now, the teen says that he has been in a car where he had to pull over in a panic. He says he's been overwhelmed by the anxiety of driving under any structure and the pain that he's still in. I had like her blood on me and I didn't really like know what to do. And uh, she just wasn't moving. The sadness in Richard Humble's voice tears at the heart. He survived the FIU bridge collapse, but his beloved girlfriend, Alexa Duran, did not. She was like just a, the brightest light in my life really like always there for me whenever on Monday Humble's attorney filed a lawsuit against the companies that helped design and build the pedestrian bridge which gave way on Southwest 8th Street last month and killed six people what type of governmental <laughs> entity would not protect its citizens and when they're going to do some tightening or adjusting of a project like this not simply shut down the highway Humble was in the passenger seat of Durant's car. She had offered him a ride to the doctor's office that day when they came to a stop at a red light and heard an ominous sound. It sounded like a cracking noise, and uh, I was on the side of the bridge that was close to the support beam on the right side. So I think it was the bridge cracking on the left side that I heard. Eventually, someone used a wooden beam to force open a car door so Humble could get out and call his mother. All I can hear is sirens and Richie screaming and screaming. And we, I couldn't, I couldn't um, control him. He was frantic. Humble's attorney said the law firm has hired a team of experts to look at every aspect of the project, including cracking on the structure and why the road was left open during a stress test. I just don't know why you'd take a chance with something like that, especially like with workers on top of the bridge, with people underneath it. There's lots of people who aren't here right now because of that decision. Humble says that there was nothing they could do once they heard the bridge cracking. His lawsuit is a handful, uh, is one of a handful of lawsuits that have been filed by the families of the other victims, as well as the survivors. His attorneys uh, tell us that they also plan to sue FIU, as well as the Florida Department of Transportation. We're live at this hour in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.